Question A 45-year-old male presents with recurrent episodes of severe headache associated with photophobia, phonophobia, and nausea. The headache is often unilateral and pulsating, lasting for several hours to days. He reports visual disturbances, described as seeing flashing lights or zigzag lines, which precede the headache. Neurological examination between episodes is unremarkable. What is the most likely diagnosis in this case? A. Cluster headache. B. Tension type headache. C. Migraine with aura. D. Chronic paroxysmal hemicrania. The most likely diagnosis in this case of a 45-year-old male presenting with recurrent episodes of severe headache associated with photophobia, phonophobia, nausea, unilateral and pulsating pain lasting several hours to days, and visual disturbances, flashing lights or zigzag lines, preceding the headache is. C. Migraine with aura. The clinical presentation, including recurrent severe headaches with features such as photophobia, phonophobia, nausea, unilateral and pulsating pain lasting hours to days, and visual disturbances preceding the headache, is characteristic of migraine with aura. Here's the rationale for choosing this diagnosis. Recurrent severe headaches. Migraines are characterized by recurrent episodes of severe headaches. Photophobia phonophobia, nausea. These are common associated symptoms in migraine attacks. Unilateral and pulsating pain. Migraines often present with unilateral pulsating headaches. Visual disturbances, aura. The description of visual disturbances such as flashing lights or zigzag lines preceding the headache is indicative of a visual aura, a classic feature of migraine with aura. Neurological examination between episodes. The absence of neurological findings between episodes is consistent with migraine, as the neurological symptoms are typically transient and associated with the headache itself. Options A, B, and D are less likely in this case. Cluster headache, option A. Typically presents with excruciating, unilateral, and strictly orbital or periorbital pain associated with autonomic features. The pain is usually shorter in duration than migraines and often occurs in clusters over weeks to months. Tension type headache, option B, is characterized by a mild to moderate, non-pulsating headache that is often bilateral, with no associated nausea or vomiting. It typically does not have the distinctive features described in this case. Chronic paroxysmal hemicrania, option D, is a rare headache disorder characterized by severe, strictly unilateral, short-lasting headache attacks, often accompanied by autonomic features. However, the headache attacks are shorter in duration than typical migraines. In summary, considering the patient's clinical presentation, the most likely diagnosis is migraine with aura. If you like this video, please like, Share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.